Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. Please make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. If you haven't seen all the latest other episodes, uh, feel free to check them out on the channel. They're doing really, really nicely. We've got the other, other series going really nicely, the classic RTG. So feel free to check that out. And I'll hopefully bring out a few more squad builders because I know you guys are going to want some more squad builders coming out. As I said, the team of the week is out and obviously the team of the season's come through as well. So please make sure to check them out guys when they come out. And um, yeah, let's get to the episode. So as you can see on the screen right now, we've got a nice little squad. First thing I want to say guys is um, my uh, what's the name, Elgato did end up playing up guys. And it did not show the packs I opened. So... At the moment, there is Lunar um, Hour, not Lunar Hour, but Lunar like festive season at the moment. At the moment, so a lot of decent packs are going to be out at the moment. As you can see on the screen right there, you've got obviously a decent little pack there, 300. You got your normal packs, and you got your big promo pack there. So they're the packs uh, we didn't actually end up opening, but they're the packs we had to offer. As I said, the more we come through, the more different types of packs are going to be popping up, um, obviously during the series. So. As you can see on the screen right now, we've got a decent team on the ballpark. We've got a 4 triple two team. Um, in the first pack we opened, we managed to get a 150 pack. Oh, no, the 300 pack, my bad. A 300 pack. In that 300 pack, we managed to get a Cabal. Uh, managed to get a Jermaine Defoe in there. Uh, managed to get a Barry in there. And there was a few other players in there. But Jermaine Defoe was not too bad to pick up. He was not a bad little pull. Obviously, Cabal was really nice. And we managed to get Barry. So I thought I'd use them three guys. Knowing that they're in the same league, we can maybe get something going. As I said, at the moment, a lot of the players coming up are going to be really, really difficult. So as you can see there, we do get Angle Rangel again. Uh, another nice little player to play right back from Swansea, Spain. He's not a bad little pull. Um, on the bench, we didn't really get anything else at all. It wasn't that great. It wasn't the best pulls at all. Um, but in the second pack we opened, it was a 150. And in that 150 pack, we did manage to get a Valbo Enner. Now, Valbo Enner is not a bad little pull at all. He's probably the best player we actually got in the actual series. I know Backer's doing really, really well there. But um, he was a really nice little pull. We managed to get this fella here, this little right back from Brazil. Managed to get him in the pack of the, the second pack as well. And we got a range of other players in there. We managed to get Algarzi, um, who's it was in the first pack as well. Managed to get this guy here from Belong. I managed to get him in the first pack. Managed to get a couple of little silvers, but they weren't going to do much at all. Managed to get the two Argentinian dudes. They came in the first pack as well. So overall, it's not too bad. The team is not too bad at all. It's alright. So suppose uh, please let me know guys of any teams I could try and create or what I can do with these sort of players um, in the next couple of series as I said that at the moment it's kind of really difficult because a lot of players coming through from different leagues and they're all coming from different nationalities and it's really hard to get something going as you can see Backer is on his own at the moment which is a bit of a pain in the ass um, but I know obviously let's keep him in a squad because he's scored two goals in two games and he's doing really really well for me he's a bit of a force I know Obviously, you've got Mr. Attacking midfield of Valbuena. Um, doesn't get too much chemistry at all with only the left back, but still, um, he'll do well, hopefully, because I know he's a very, very good player indeed. So, overall, the team's not too bad. It's got a bit of EP on the right hand side, um, a couple of scattered players, um, but overall, it's not a bad old squad. And I'm hoping we can really, really do well with this team because at the moment, we are doing very, very well. So, this is the game we end up getting into. Um, this guy didn't have the best team in the world, it wasn't that great um, overall it was not a bad game on our behalf on our behalf we did take a lot of our chances um, we really did put this guy in the back for at the start of the game um, he had a couple of decent players here and there he was really scattered the way his team was the chemistry wasn't great his goalkeeper was really really decent Mr. Carrasso in goal from France check him out guy not a bad goalkeeper if you're starting off a French team um, but we do manage to get a penalty in early in the game, which is really, really nice. Backer played really well in this game, guys. He really did put this guy on the back foot when it came to his, I think it was his right-hand side of the fence. Uh, but Backer played really, really well and just honestly just put him on the back foot the whole, pretty much the whole game. He does end up slotting the penalty, which is always really nice to see from your big striker. So that means it's two games. Three goals now. He's going along very, very nicely. I'm hoping he can be one of the sort of players that can really guide us through the divisions at the start and obviously offload them later on. I am thinking about um, any players that we do get in our packs we won't be using and we can probably sell them on and hopefully buy packs with just normal coins maybe or go and buy someone really decent from the market and really spicing up the little se the series a little bit more instead of just opening packs all the time. But let me know, guys, what if if I should do that because that may be a decent little idea um, which could obviously come together and 
really help us along the way because getting it through the division is going to be fairly very tough especially with the chemistry and especially the players that are popping up in our packs um, but we do end up getting into the second half we are 1-0 up at this stage and honestly we are really killing this dude he doesn't have much to say did, just didn't really challenge us at all. Um, had a couple of chances here and there. His goalkeeper really did help him out. Um, uh, Val Brenner played a right on his debut. He played really, really well. A few of other players played really, really well. Gareth Barry played a right on his debut. Um, it's really nice to have someone like him with decent passing, which is really, really handy because honestly, we do have a quite a few defender, defensive midfielders, but their passing is not great. So having him is really nice. Um, this is was a huge change in the game guys where his defender does end up getting a red card uh, not too sure about the challenge but what can you do about it but we do end up getting a free kick wasn't too sure who to take it with I was going to take it with Val Buena, but um, I thought you know what let's take it with someone else and um, it does end up going over the bar just um, a slight little deflection there which is a bit of a pain in the ass but what can you do about it anyway so we do end up getting through again Jermaine Defoe goes around the defender and honestly this guy played really really well for us guys he took his chances when he had them and um, it was a very nice finish a very nice little cooler finish around the goalkeeper there runs around him and just smacks it into the back of the net um, of obviously 85 shooting it's really really promising to see obviously having him and back who's got 83 shooting as well it's always really nice to see so 2-0 up guys we were cruising through we had a couple of chances here and there he does end up putting this in the back of the net which is a shame it does end up being an own goal on obviously his behalf which is a bit of a pain because I knew because I knew 2 0 up, we should be absolutely cruising. But 2 1, um, kind of shook it up a little bit because I knew at this time of the game we need to be taking our chances now. I really put this kid to bed, but we don't un end up putting that in the back of the net, which is pain. Defoe did not put that in the back of the net. I think it was Defoe, it might have been backer. Can't really tell the difference between the two blokes, but. Um, overall, it was a good game by the boys. Another win in the bag. We're doing up getting the title now, which is really, really handy. I think that's like 2 1 now on the score sheet. So that's absolutely terrific. Um, and obviously, we win the title. So we go through the next division, Division 9 next. I hope in the next episode, guys, I will bring out um, two games each episode so we can get through the divisions really, really quickly and hopefully get to the next title um, really, really quickly. So another 2,000 coins in the bag. Um, we will go for a, a go for um, two more packs I'm thinking each time we do the win the title we'll go for another division we end up getting two packs just extra um, and hopefully we can use, get obviously get something really nice to add to the squad so after that good good effort by the boys so it's not a bad little team um, on paper it doesn't look great um, it's overall just the quality of the team I mean Lindegaard has to go I know Shackle um, I'm gonna have to get rid of him I know he's the only player to link up with him is obviously Gareth Barry but um, at the moment we see the bear with the team just keep going for the games and we will open up a few packs for now so we're gonna go for two 150 packs because I know the first one we went on at the start of this episode we managed to get a Valve winner which was really really promising so we're gonna go for the 150 pack now I'm hoping we can really pull out something decent let's see what we get we do end up getting a Gary Medell now he's not a bad little defensive midfielder he's very very uh, very very solid very very physical he doesn't have the greatest passing on him um, He's not the greatest midfielder at all, but he's a very physical player. We do end up getting a Costa, we could play him in there. We managed to get a Spanish uh, Leon guy, which we could put in with Valbuena maybe. Another Fiorentina left back, um, he might be really handy to put together. A couple of um, other little consumables, a silver player, and that was it. So not a bad little pack. Gary Merdell, mm, what can we do with him? Not too sure. Um, he's a very, very physical player, so he might be quite handy. Maybe get a bit of Serie A in there, guys. Maybe get him, link him up with Costa, maybe. Um, I'll see what I can do about it, because we do have quite a few defensive midfielders playing really, really well at the moment. And obviously, if the guy, if this team at the moment is doing well, we can probably carry on. But in this next pack, we managed to get a Glick. And what, what do you know, guys? Another Serie A player. So he could probably link up that left back we got. Glick is a very, very slow defender. So I'm hoping we can get a left back who's fairly, fairly quick. Or maybe link him up with someone who's uh, fairly quick in the other centre back position but we do end up getting a brand new ground uh, it's quite a nice little ground this one kind of just does up the team a little bit makes it look a little bit better so that's a nice little pack managed to get um, who do we get an old German dude and managed to get Johansson so overall not a bad two packs um, kind of changed up the idea I think a little bit with the Serie A but um, overall that will be the episode guys as you can see on the screen right now that is the team please make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below that will be cool greatly appreciated and um, yeah I'll catch you all guys next time cheers guys